to be or not to be. Recording 4K at 100 bits per second. That is the question. That we'll look at today. Since the differences are so subtle, the best way to see them is by using the 50 megabits per second version as the main video and then overlaying the 100 megabits per second as a sliding window where you should be able to see the improvements as it moves across the screen. I also highlighted some areas to watch for the differences. So in conclusion, as you can see there is an improvement in capturing color information with the 100 megabits per second setting. It is subtle, but it is there. It's just that the improvements are not huge and most cases do not warrant the doubling of the video file size. But if you want to squeeze the most from your camera, then the 100 megabits per second is legit enough to offer some benefits.